Hello and welcome to audio session of SAP ABAP. So what is ABAP? ABAP stands for Advanced Business Application Programming. It is a programming language just like other programming language Java, C, C++, Python. But the main difference between the ABAP and the other programming languages if you know the Java, the Java is used for development of many kind of software. It is also used for the Android application. It is used for making the gaming software, for the portal development, and there are thousands of other open source softwares. They use the Java language. Similarly, the C language is used in most of the application. And same for the Python. But in case of ABAP, is a business language developed by SAP only and only for the development of SAP application. With ABAP, you cannot make any other software. It is especially developed by the SAP for their product only. ABAP is very simple language and it is very very easy to learn compared to any other programming language. We can use both procedural as well as the object oriented concept for the development of applications. If you are from a non programming background or if you are a functional consultant, then you can easily start with the procedural language. And once we learn the basic concept, then we can move for the object oriented concepts. Now, whatever applications are developed using ABAP? Using ABAP, we can develop SAP reports or reports is like this is used for the data analysis. Take example of a bank statement. What we do on a bank statement, we give some date selection and we click on the get statement. So based on the given date, system pulls the data and gives us the report. Similarly, there are thousands of reports common in SAP, ABAP, SAP, which can be developed using the ABAP language. It is also used for developing the interface. Interface means if along with SAP, a company using any other software, let's say they're using SAP CRM, they're using C4C, Salesforce, and they want to integrate with the SAP ERP. In that case, they use the interface. Then it comes data convergence that is transferring of legacy data into the SAP. Let's take example, you want to upload thousands of sales order in the SAP system. So creating one by one is not possible. So in that case, they use the data conversion method. Then it comes to the enhancement. As the SAP comes with the thousands of predefined transaction code for different models. But Based on the client requirement, sometime it is not ready to use as it is with a standard process. So they do the enhancement in the standard system so that the client requirement can be met. Using ABAP, they also develop the SAP script, smart forms and the Adobe forms. Like for the printing of invoice, printing of purchase orders, check printing, many other applications which are required a form. Then there are multiple programming. Suppose if client has some custom application requirement, which is not there in the standard system, then they make a complete customized application with database tables. In that type of programming called as the multiple programming. Workflows, as the name indicates, it is the flow of work. Most of the time in SAP, we require certain time of approvals. Like before giving the purchase order to the vendor, it is go through some approval level, the manager, the general manager, etc. Like this, in SAP, most of the places we require many kind of approvals. For making that approval process, we make use of workflows. The ABAP development are generally known as the RICF, that is a report interface, conversion, enhancement and forms. 
So this all type of applications are developed using ABAP. What is the prerequisite to learn the ABAP? If you are from the programming background and already know some other programming language, it is an advantage to learn ABAP. As you are already aware of the programming concept, and you just have to learn the ABAP syntax. But if you are not from the programming background, so no need to learn any other language first. You can directly start learning ABAP language without any programming background. So who can learn the ABAP? If you are a recent college pass out and want to make a career in IT field, so ABAP is also a good option. As the SAP ERP is very popular in the ERP software, even if you are working on some other programming language, the learning ABAP is good as it will add an advantage in a professional career. If you are a functional consultant and want to become a techno functional consultant, then also the ABAP is very nice and it is very very easy to learn programming language. So what is the learning mode map for ABAP? So ABAP we can divide into two system, uh, two types. One we will call as a basic ABAP and second one is called as an advanced ABAP. So in the basic ABAP, first we have to familiar with the ABAP and complete SAP development environment. How the SAP work, what are different models of the SAP and as an ABAP consultant, what tools available in the SAP for development. In basic ABAP, we have to understand the ABAP dictionary, data dictionary that is related to the database objects like table, views, data elements, domains, search help, etc. There are many sub elements, components inside the data dictionary. Then we have to learn the ABAP syntax, like how to use the right command, how to use a control statement, case, loop, do, and do, subroutines, modularization, etc. This all comes in the ABAP syntax learning. Then we have to learn the classical and the ALU report development. Then there are function models and the remote enable function models that are called as RFCs and BAPI. Then we have to learn the SAP script and smart forms. Then there is a model programming that is also called as the dialog programming. And for the data conversion techniques, there are two layers LSMW. BDC programming and the BAPI programming. And then we have to also learn the ABAP debugging. Suppose while working, if user is facing some dump errors or the output result is not coming as per the logic which we have written. So we can do the debugging and we can understand what errors are coming. So this all will come in the basic ABAP. Next, it is advanced ABAP. In the advanced ABAP, we can learn the object oriented programming. Then we have to understand the enhancement, ALE ad hoc, that is used for the integrating of SAP to SAP or SAP to non SAP systems. We have to learn the workflows, In the WebDIM Pro, which is the web based application of SAP, web services and OData. And in recent technology, there is ABAP on ANA. This all we can consider as an advanced ABAP. But as an ABAP consultant, one should know both basic ABAP as well as the advanced ABAP. But at the initial level, first we have to completely understand the basic concepts. Once we understand the complete basic concepts, then it will be easy to learn the advanced concept. Now, which tools are used for the ABAP development? Like if you want to Develop a Java application, we read, uh, we need the JDK of C, we need some other language, other softwares. So which tool is used for the ABAP development? So all the ABAP developments are done in the SAP environment only. In SAP, we can do all the functional consultant work as well as the ABAP development work. In SAP, there's a tool called ABAP Workbench, which is consists of different components which are mentioned as below like the ABAP editor 
which we use for the writing of a web program. Then there's a repository browser which gives the hierarchical structure of all the objects. Then for a web dictionary, I've also given the T code here, transition code, which is nothing but the short code to access the application. Then there are screen printer and menu printer, which can be used through the T code SC51 and SC41. There are function builders, SAP scripts, and smart forms. Those are some of the components. There are many other components which are used by a web consultant for the development of SAP web application. So this is all about the web learning roadmap.